Welcome back, everybody, to another fun episode of Undressed with Paul and Patrick. I'm Paul. This is Patrick. And we've got little Snow White 90210. Hey, bitches. Before I introduce our amazing, fabulous, fun guest today. If you can't tell, look at what we're wearing. That's going to give you a little idea. I know, but for the ones that are listening and not watching, we need to tell them what we're wearing. We're wearing El Devo. Colorful cool. We're wearing clowns, right? We're wearing clowns, circus. We're wearing circus theme. Oh my God. Let me remind everybody, rate, review, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll get alerted for when a new episode drops every Wednesday at midnight. And thank you everybody for your support. We love the fact that you've helped us grow and you've brought us to where we are now. Now we've got more exciting things we want to do with you all. Oh my God, can I introduce our guest? Yes! Okay. Oh my God, you know this girl from American Horror Story, and now we also know her from American Horror Story. She's we'll a whore. That. Well, yeah, she is actually. She's a we'll big get into whore. that. But uh, you remember her? For, she played Pepper on American Horror Story, beloved Pepper, and they killed her off. <gasps> Terrible. She died. My heart broke when they did that. Anyway, let's introduce Naomi Grossman. Yeah! Hello. Naomi Grossman in the house. In the Paul at Two Boutique. I mean, we love you. We've known you for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. Were you on season one of Gown and Out? Season one of Gown and Out in Beverly Hills. I can't. Yes. Even... Season one. I it guess. was so long ago. Wow. It's been years. It has been. It was yes. Been, it when was I first saw her on the street with her pink little car. Oh. Smart car. Right. You right. still have it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yes. You do still have the smart car? Yeah. <laughs> Adorable car, by the way. I could never fucking fit into that. You could. I can In this? Oh, really? <laughs> it's a clown car, after all. It's a clown yeah, car. Yeah, 12 of you. Do you love our outfits? I love we them. We did it for you. You look beautiful, I, by the way. I you wish always I know. <laughs> no, but we're... This is... I would have worn my circus jammies, too. Oh, my God. You know you oh. can I was you trying to match with Snow White. Oh, there you go. I was go. going, like, animal print. <laughs> there, you I know, love it. She's doing her fur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's doing her She fur. knew she was coming to the Beverly Hills Boutique. She's like, exactly. I got to throw some makeup on. Get looking snazzy. You That's look right. great. Thank you. You look great. So tell us and tell everybody how in the world did the journey of American Horror Story get started? Ooh. Well, um, I, I got, you know, an audition like any other. And uh, yeah. uh, the show, of course, had aired for one season already. So I called a buddy that, you know, has yeah. watched a bunch of TV. And he was he was able to kind of prep me what, what it was about. Of course, that didn't actually help me because every – season is it's different. very different yeah. yeah um but you know i went in and did my best of course there was this sea of little people in the audition room and i thought what what am i doing here like, yeah, what am i never yeah. i'm not this. three for two but, but i got it anyway so of course We're, you did because you're an amazing actress oh, hello for the audition of pepper you knew you were going for pepper right yes but we did i didn't know what pepper was you know really? we didn't know until i was actually cast like uh they actually the the breakdown itself read four to five feet tall possibly malformed uh childlike so that's all i knew i didn't know right. microcephalic and, and, i didn't know any of the things that we of course yeah know. and she's a gorgeous beautiful over five feet hottie <laughs> barely with heels yes well, with still. heels well everybody wears heels and she's hot when oh. when you were in the audition room and you were looking around did you like kind of like were thinking okay wait who is like how did you come into how you were going to make Pepper your own? She came with an axe, a sword, and a <laughs> knife to the gunfight. Well, again, I didn't even know what that was. Like, I just knew that I had, I had, a, it was a two-parter. I okay. had oh, first two to do a, a monologue of Jessica Lang's from season one. Oh. She's amazing. Which they really just needed to see that I could act, you yeah. know? And yeah. then they uh, gave me a ball, and they asked to get me to try to play with them. Okay. Uh, you know, as if I was like four or five years old. Right. Which at the time I was like, what is this? Like I'm doing improv. I'm, yeah. I'm delivering monologues. I mean, now in retrospect, we understand. They wanted to just see that I had range. Sure. You know, that I could go from like the early playful pepper to the later, you know, alien objective pepper. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah, looking around at those little people, I kind of was just 
I was I'm intimidated. In the wrong Honestly, I, yeah, I kept thinking I need a, a conversation with my agent. Like, I know I'm petite, but like, there yeah. is a difference. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you know, I don't want to be wasting my time going and then through at the things same time that I couldn't you're possibly thinking, uh, I'm really hot and sexy, and I'm not <laughs> sure why I'm here. No, I never think that. That's what, very nice. Was though. that your it's true. first like big role, or what did you do before I mean, American Horror Story? I mean, it was the first big role I got. I'd yeah. been auditioning for 22 years before that. Um, I, I mean, I got my SAG card on my 15th birthday. Oh, my God. So, wow. um, okay. yeah. And actually, well, you know the story, having seen American Horror Story. Yep. Um, you know, I show a little clip in the show of me on Father Delling Mysteries from, yes. you know, the yep. 80s. Yes. Anyway, so that was sort of my big, big break, yeah. you know, uh, in middle school. Sure. And, of course, then it kind of just took me out because there was – nothing union to do in Denver, you know, and I was, yeah. And so then I was kind of just in limbo until I could come out to Hollywood where there was actual, you know, SAG production. Yeah. Yeah. But even then I couldn't catch a break. Like it was a while before I really, you mean you weren't like me when you just walked (laughs) off the bus from Minnesota (laughs) as it pulled up at the bus station and there were agents there going, he's gorgeous. (laughs) Oh, he's amazing. He's a, Star. This is such that bullshit. That didn't happen for you? No. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I must sorry. have been on the wrong bus. Wrong bus. Wrong bus. I was on the 412. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Naomi, drink your coffee because he's going to read your Armenian coffee grounds at the end of the episode. Oh, I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. Except cool. sip it gently because okay. it is hot. I just made okay, it. So. thank you. Blow and sip. Blow that's what, and that's sip. what he said. <laughs> Look whose side she's drinking from. Oh, oh. I was trying to actually go in the middle just so I could be equal. I knew I was. For those of you who that. cannot no, see, no. she's drinking from my side, as they all do. You mm. drink from the side that best suits you. It's because you I'm prefer. a righty and I, I need yeah. it. You know, yeah. To my say. husband says I planned it that way. I didn't. I did not make the graphic of the show. You're a bitch. <laughs> of course you did. Does it taste good? It's Doesn't delicious. the coffee taste good? It's delicious. I know because even if you don't drink coffee, because I drink it, and I'm like, oh. it's really good. I don't drink yeah. coffee. Oh, I'm a cr- coffee fiend. Oh, you're kidding are? me. Yes. Okay, Uh-oh. well, that's going to keep you up all night. <laughs> you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. Wait, are you going for an audition next? Because this is going to give you the tonality <laughs> that you need in order for you to be able to nail the next audition. Oh, my God. Oh. How, well, no, with the strike, we're, we're, I haven't oh, had auditions right. in no So, Naomi, time. tell us about the strike. How has that impacted your career? Well, there's no auditions. Right. For, you, yeah. know, it, you know, it's not like I was, you know, on a show and we had to stop production. And, yeah. you know, yeah. everything went to a grinding halt. But, you know, now there's just no even opportunity for, yeah. for work. Right. So, at least before, there was always that glimmer of hope you know Mm -hmm. Uh, weekly at least there would be at least something to kind of but let me tell you something Mm. you have transformed your entire life into such a success on so many platforms yeah i mean okay so i watch you on television i knew you before i even met you because I've seen you, okay, your right. work on television. Mm-hmm. Then when I got to meet you, I loved you even more. <laughs> then you're on our show, of course, working together. Then I'm like, okay, she's crazy. She is Pepper. <laughs> you know, like there's so much Pepper in her. Right. Like uh, either either she was Pepper before she got there and they didn't know it, or yeah. a lot of Pepper went into her to make her what she is. And I still love. Yeah. And then now you're the one woman show that you just converted a whole life story into something that. I got to witness unfold on live stage in front of me. And I thought to myself, I was so engaged. The two hours or maybe it was even three and I couldn't even tell because I lost all track of time. You went through different scenarios, different generations, different years and periods. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I can't get enough of this bitch. Wow. Like, she's amazing. Yeah. Like, it was, you I loved stage, American Horror Story is what you're talking about. Mm. W. H-O-R-E, American Horror Story. I mean, I came with my A game. I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at a score for sure, and it never worked out. I was fucking entertained. I, re- I really was. And, and a lot of it you said is true? What oh, happened? every word. Everything is true. Well, there's one lie. Okay, there is a lie. Uh, there's <laughs> one truths lie. truths and a lie. <laughs> uh, I mentioned, you recall the gay ex? Yes. Oh. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for right. those who haven't seen it, but right. you were... Well, you everybody were, has to go see it. Well, yeah. You're taking it across the country well, now. Well, it, yeah, it's off Broadway in January. 
Oh, okay, so, so how do people next. get tickets? Can you tell our audience yeah. how to get tickets? Uh, yes, they are not for sale just yet, okay. but very soon, AmericanHorrorStory.com. Okay, And great. that's where you can find them always anyway. Okay, because there's a full website now which yeah. you can check The website's there. Okay. The tickets for New York are not well, okay. when we when we try to get tickets, there wasn't anything available. No, we shoehorned you in. I know. I we know. like I'm so glad. we had to contact all our contacts. So we're like, could you get a ticket? I just could I just texted Naomi and she got us in. We thank God. Shut up. <laughs> but thank her, you her so much. Her numbers unlisted. <laughs> The show is an hour and a half, by the way. I don't want yeah. people thinking it's a three-hour no, show. But, it was right. um, so, but I, I'm glad. But it was quick. It it's was still a quick long time to be listening to one lady talk about her, you know. Yeah, but it was life. interesting. It was very Thank interesting you. the way you had it. I love it. Oh, but the one lie. Yeah, what's the, the one lie? lie is when I um, I mentioned that you know after our very fiery uh, uh, Escapade, end. The break yes, up. Yeah. the breakup. Yep. Um, that fateful night. I say, I never saw him ever again. <gasps> and then I stop and I say, but then I don't go to glory holes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the lie. I actually do. Oh you do go to glory holes. Well, I've oh. been, I, I went to one. But I went to it after I wrote the show. So at the time, it wasn't a lie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You went where? to a glory <laughs> hole? What? Wait, I wait, wait. I haven't even been to a fucking what? glory hole. Oh, I I'll have. I'll take you. What? Before you, I went to a glory hole. Of course. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course. There was a lot of sex going before we met. <laughs> How do I not know this? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't know I went to a glory hole? What? In Berlin, actually. Oh. That's the best glory of hole. Of course. <laughs> You mean you stuck it inside the little thing? That's what a glory hole is. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> or you could well, anyway. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, where is yes. one in LA? I'm so intrigued. Okay, so to be fair, Where'd this was not in LA. Oh. In Naomi's case, it was she in did Florida. Not, in Naomi's case, like, she did Florida. not. The reddest part of Florida. Oh. Yeah. Of course. You know, it's really? Really? Santa's probably good. <laughs> you know what they say. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. did you go into the glory hole knowing the person you were gonna go into the glory hole with? And you wait, were meeting them in there, or you just wait a minute, wait a minute. I was at a clothing <laughs> optional campground. Okay, fine. Like you do. Campground. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I suppose all campgrounds are clothing optional. I don't know. We right? never go camping. <gasps> well, you have a show called Undressed. <laughs> you should know about what these the things. <laughs> what am I missing? Okay, so you're at a. So a, I'm at this clothing optional campground. Yep. And um, and uh, yeah, it's called the Sawmill. Oh, uh, in mail. Florida, you can Google it. Okay. And apparently, <laughs> uh, you know, so I'm skinny dipping with the gays, you know, yeah. and uh, and they asked, you know, oh, you should come with us to the garage. <laughs> and that's the garage. That's it. what it's called. Yep. Yeah. Who knew? I thought it was underground parking right across the street in Beverly Hills. Oh, wait, it was a gay glory hole called. you went to. Don't stick your wiener in just anywhere Jesus, there, okay? No, You'll I'm get not, uh, I'm not going anywhere. Wait, wait, you went to a gay glory hole? Is there a straight Is there a straight one? one? I don't know. I'm I don't think oh. so. I know there's a gay one, but I thought you went to I a straight one. I think by definition, like... they're gay. I mean, well, she oh. was at a camp guy with a bunch of gays. She was frolicking in the So what do you do in a gay glory hole? Well, I know what watch. I do. But... I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> you watch. <laughs> if I get involved, it's straight. Again, by definition. <sighs> I didn't know that. And there's, it's not wow. like there was a, a woman on the other end of the hole. Right, right. Well, if there was, <laughs> I, they must have had something else. It was a lesbian. <laughs> oh, my God. What it but still, you need something to stick out the hole. Yeah, a lesbian. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean no, I no. <laughs> you know what? The interesting, we booked a, he booked a resort, and this was you that did this, in Mexico. In, I had no idea. In Cancun. <laughs> what was it? By okay, mistake. Hold on. I don't read, okay? So I don't read. <laughs> By definition, are you illiterate or do you just choose not to? You just choose not to read. The, the letters don't excite me. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's really awkward. When I see letters and there's no picture attached to it, uh -uh. I space out. I, I, I don't see the I mean, I know okay. the alphabet A, B, C. Like, I know it in five different Is languages. Is there an end to this story? You know what? <laughs> You're not going to like it when we go to this place of, you know, in Florida. <laughs> But, I saw don't, but in definition, I don't read, so okay. I need pictures. So okay. when I saw the resort... And, and he's a teacher, I, a teacher that doesn't read. This I is a new one. I'm a fashion teacher. <laughs> I saw it visual. So yeah. I saw right. the resort, mm. gorgeous resort, right yep. on the water, with sand, private sandy beach, with canopies over the water. And I was thinking about him with the swimming pool, the infinity pool, the, the <laughs> sand, and oh, yeah. the ocean right there, privacy. Yeah. I mean, that's what he wanted. So I booked the best room 
at the resort okay. that I thought would just be like the first thing that he would be like, babe, this is so, and with a jacuzzi. <laughs> so jacuzzi at our balcony. Okay, so we get there. Okay. We get picked we up. We walk inside. Uh-huh. Everybody's fucking everywhere in oh. this resort. Wow. <laughs> he books by mistake a swingers resort in Cancun. A, a straight a, swingers resort with the two oh gay yeah, guys it's walking a straight, in. It was a gorgeous resort. I walk into the bar, and this poor woman is on the, the bar with her legs spread in like a lineup of guys. Oh, my God. I'm like, and this was during the <laughs> afternoon. It wasn't even wow. nighttime yet. Wow. But I think they had started the night before. <gasps> wow. Is that not crazy? That beats even the <laughs> ayahuasca retreat that I went to, <laughs> thinking it was a spa vacation. Isn't that what, what was it? Ayahuasca? Ayahuasca Where is, is ayahuasca, first of all? Ayahuasca <laughs> is a hardcore hallucinogen. Yeah. Oh. It's right up there with, like, uh, I don't know, Schedule A drugs. Like, it's oh. not legal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I, um, but it was gifted to me at a gifting suite. Of course. Because, you know, we're Wait, suckers for how the Of course. Stuff. How come I didn't and, get this? Where well, was... you don't want this, by the oh. way. It makes you puke and poop and cry <laughs> and, like, rue your mother for literally four days. It's like a whole wow. journey. That sounds exhausting. It was a lot. Thinking I was going for, like, a jacuzzi and infinity pool. Right, and instead right. I'm a in, like, facial, Where was it at? Nice in massage. Costa Rica. Uh, <laughs> I, love Costa I love Costa Rica. I love Costa Rica. Yeah, well, I wouldn't We didn't know. do the ayahuasca <laughs> in Costa Rica. I was in a creepy puke pavilion with <laughs> for 80, four day? Oh 80, my God. 80 perfect strangers. Oh. It was weird. Okay, wow. you know what? Yeah. But I did learn what a motorboat was that oh, weekend. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I have an imagination. I don't need to go to... <laughs> when, they, when they said that in the swimming pool, I thought, I don't know what she's talking about. I, and I turned to him and I said, yeah. do you know? And the husband goes, let me show you. Grabs his head, <laughs> sticks it in, in his wife's bosom. Wow. Boobs. Yeah. And he was suffocating. I don't know what the I fuck is like, going on. He's looking for help. <laughs> like, he couldn't get out. Well, yeah, motorboats are dangerous. Yeah, I know. He couldn't breathe. Especially when you're a gay boy it? doing a motorboat. Well, yeah. <laughs> My motorboats are very, very chill. They don't, nothing really Your happens. Your A-cups are so Have you ever done a motorboat? No one's ever, you've never no, I, had a man do a motorboat? No, it's like <laughs> asking a small child to motorboat. Like, it's very un uneventful. Would, would you ever get a boob job? No. Really? No, I'm very against that. Oh, you Why? are? Why? I know. Against <laughs> I like of all the things I've said, Why? that's the most shocking. <laughs> what? What? Oh Stop! My God, then what? You got my attention now. It wasn't the no, glory I, hole. It's like I the just really job. believe I am perfect exactly the way I am. So you plastic know. surgery in general, not just Yeah, and boobs. it's not even... Yes, yes. Okay. No, for yourself, you're yeah. against it. But for other people, you don't care. Oh, I don't care. Like, because okay. he's, he's done head to toe. You know this. <laughs> I'm plastic. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no. I speak for myself. Okay. I, um, same with tattoos. Mm. I mean, I do have piercings. He doesn't but like, let me get a tattoo. I, he wants a tattoo. Don't I don't want it. a tattoo. No. You're perfect. But I, just, I know, no. but I just wanted a tattoo that was like a dress form. With one of my designs on there. Just, I thought, no. how special Just do a temporary that? one I mean, listen, and just put it on Here's how I see it. Yeah. And this also goes for, you know, plastic surgery. Any kind of, like, alteration. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, because the, um, I'm perfect just the way I am is going to be a sound bite that will bite me in the butt. So... <laughs> So let me let me rephrase that. Jordan, yes, Jordan, okay. did you hear that? All that right. was all geared towards you. <laughs> no, I. Uh, what I mean is, why would you put bumper stickers on a Lamborghini? That's yeah, you would you know never I mean? put bumper like, stickers on a Lamborghini. You're, you're, I, it's it's yeah. a beautiful car. Yeah, I totally get it. Full stop. Period. Done. No, I totally. But you get don't it. feel like that. at a certain age you might want to get a little nip tuck tune up. That's why I go to yoga. Huh? Oh, okay. yoga. I love yoga. I mean, so yeah. I don't have to do that. Like, I work yeah. for it, so I yeah. don't have to yeah. nip tuck. You have a great body, though. When you yeah. were doing your one-woman show, some of the positions that you did, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could take that toe, and I mean, that's true. gay should learn something from you, because, yeah. you know, we do Kama Sutra once a week. Yes. Oh. Every Saturday is our yeah. Kama Sutra day. And I'm thinking, <laughs> shit. We just has she tried the book and pick a position. Like, she must be able to do every single page in that fucking book, because she's like, um, 
It's like your toes were all the way up there and around. Yeah, they were all the way up. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was oh, pretty exciting. Hilarious. Now you know how oh, I make all the gays straight. Oh. Uh, yes. I mean. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense. Yeah. Snow White totally wasn't bored, sense. and she goes to Broadway, off Broadway all the time. Sometimes she gets a little bored. She was in very she's thoroughly enjoyed. She's so bored right now. She's just sleepy. No, oh. she hasn't had a break. Oh. She's been really I, busy. You guys work she's her. Been doing, <laughs> she's been doing coffee cup reads. She's had to take pictures with people. Uh, people have been petting her. Exhausted, they yeah. Her. It's a hard life. It's very hard. Snow White 90210, <laughs> that relate. bitch, let me tell you, it ain't easy. Naomi, I want to talk about some of the things that you do, because some of the really cool things, you do this um, where you go out and you do guest speaking. Mm -hmm. And tell me about that, because it's really, you were telling me about it before off camera, and mm. tell her audience like, what you do, because it's kind of cool. Like you, I haven't done that in a bit. Okay. If you're referring to, um, you know, colleges will yeah. ask me to come, yeah. especially just following Pepper. Uh, I got a lot of people, um, you know, asking me to come and speak on the subject of inclusion. Right. Um, uh, I mean, who better than the person, a, a, a straight female that goes to a gay <laughs> glory hole? I mean, <laughs> well, who played Talk about an inclusion? extremely dis disabled character yes. yeah. on, yeah. on television? Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you, you know, I guess as f the further I get away from Pepper, the less I get called to do that kind of thing. But yeah. I'm always honored, you know, because I, when I was first got the role, I yep. worried that you know people might perceive me as as maybe making fun. You know, I'd only done comedy leading up to that. Sure. So um, this was the first time I was, you know, I was, but and yet this is a real disease, and I was. I, to play a, a, a dramatic role, you yeah. know, yeah. I needed to make sure that people knew that I was being sensitive yeah, to yeah. that. Sure. And so, um, anyway, the the fact that uh, that it it was quite the opposite that yeah. no one accused me of making fun, no one even uh, no they you embraced know, her right a hundred percent yeah yeah. But that's because you brought so much life mm. and personality sure. into a character that everyone connected with that. Because you didn't even look like yourself. Mm -mm. I mean, no. the way they transformed you. How, how many hours in makeup that. and hair were you? Two and a half to three. Wow. Yeah. Every time you shot. Yep. Wow. And it was, it was, it, I mean, the transformation to be able to get to see you in that mm. capacity and then your gorgeous face next to it. And I'm like, that bitch, can, I mean, <laughs> shit, this is all acting. Like, you could not hide behind your skills. Your skills were on display on such a dramatic category yeah. that you drew people in to the character, made us love a character that we, there's no way we could even conjure this character up in our brain. Right. I mean, because <laughs> it was so, I, I mean, but it was I, But I, the way there. I liken mm -hmm. it to is for us, for the rest of our lives, we are gonna be known as Anna Nicole Smith's best friends. We're, that, for, that's gonna carry us to the day we die. Uh -huh. For you, I feel like Pepper, you're always going to be known as Pepper, no matter yeah. what. Ten years from now, twenty years, from the same thing. That's because she brought so much life to the character. I know character. you really did. It's amazing. I mean, the role started as a co-star. Really? You know, which is just one up from extra. Yeah. You know, and so and, and I. And then she got those checks coming <laughs> in, girl. She got those coins. <laughs> but it's crazy when you think like at that those very first days in the asylum when they you know they had all these kind of crazies yeah, yeah. In, in the loony bin and it's like they threw a bunch of nut jobs at a canvas and saw what stuck and you know pepper obviously stuck well you worked with chrissy metz right yes of how course. is it working with chrissy oh she's great yeah she's, she's fun amazing. right i mean i knew her just before this is us yeah you, you know she was oh living when down she was the homeless in the car she lived <laughs> on the street no she lived in the um the uh, hotel room next to me <laughs> oh, at the okay. haunted poncha train hotel in new orleans while we were shooting freak show oh my really? god yeah you know we have a house in new orleans you do french quarter yeah you know love we love there. new orleans it's my favorite hotel poncha train hello yeah. i know yeah, yeah. Duh. Mm -hmm. lake poncha train duh yeah yeah we Very were there. Cool. We, she played the fat lady in the, you know, in the freak show. So, oh, how wow. long were you filming uh, the circus uh, version? Um, that was, that was about, freak show, right? Yeah, it's called freak, freak show. show. Okay. It was um, July to December, six months. Oh wow, yeah, that's okay. a long time in New Orleans. Yeah, it Hold is. Hold on one second. <laughs> yes. Todd, we we know you're here. As soon as Stu comes, we'll come downstairs. No problem. And by the way, if you want to look at the stuff, it's on the rack that's to the left <laughs> of you, in front of the mirror, in the four bag. How did you even know Todd came in? Thank you. I saw his bobblehead. 
Oh my God. Hi, Todd. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome to come upstairs if you want. Yeah, if you want to say hello to Naomi. No, come. You can come, come say hello to upstairs. Naomi. Okay. Come. Okay. Um, okay, so you were in New Orleans. We'll pick up from there. Okay, so you were in New Orleans for six months shooting? It's in, it's long enough to get wow. become a complete alcoholic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did it. Did you I did. do, did you do, did you do Mardi Gras? Did. did you show for beads? No, but did you go, have you been to the uh, clothing optional country club there? Girl, in New Orleans? I, I yes. am not, I no. am not getting these you invites. Guys, okay, uh, I am stay not, in our house. You, what, what, you're <laughs> hanging out with Anna Nicole Smith. You need to hang out with Naomi Grossman. I, I Naomi. Right. I'll show you where to go. Girl, okay. I'm, I'm about to go to a glory hole, a clothing <laughs> optional bathhouse, a, a, a uh, campground. Since you want to go to a glory hole or a bathhouse? I'm going with Naomi. I, oh I need God. a reality show. <laughs> I am going to go with Clothing <laughs> optional stops around the country. Yeah. Oh my I mean, God. we'll, we'll finesse it. Do you know That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. You, how would you even go finding things like this? I swear to God. I think they find me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they were amazing. They would host us every Wednesday when the episode came out. Yeah. I I would go with you know my freaky friends yep. and we they would ply us with alcohol show the show on all the screens oh and you God. know then we'd okay so they did after yes where is the clothing this? optional wow. country club where is this? it's called it's it's in new orleans I, the yeah no 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 okay. it's in the Bayou. The Bayou is North. Bywater. 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 Yeah, Bywater. Oh, that's Bywater. across from our house. I, you, that's down the street from our house <laughs> on the other side of the train tracks. Yes. Where uh, the street it's your desire. You it's notice in the you said, Notice you said the other side of the train tracks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, well, I know that New Orleans Listen, well. it's a very long bike ride from the poncho train, but yes, I did it. Yes, I yes, did it yes. with my hair wet. I love and, it. You know, late, oh. late at night. And then you came back for Pepper for the next season, right? Mm -hmm. you, and then you oh, no, no. three, two. You I skipped was there one. two. Yep. Season two was okay. here in LA. Yep. Season four was in New Orleans. Okay. Ah. I died in two, but of course that doesn't mean anything in American Horror right, Story. Right, right. It just means you just come back with bigger Pretty paycheck. Much. Yeah, exactly. Girl, <laughs> do you think they'll ever bring Pepper? I know back? where you live. Because <laughs> they didn't show her die, so right. Uh, Nobody and knows. even if they did, you could be a, a yeah. drunken apparition. Of you could be course. a ghost. You could be Listen, a, days of our uh, lives, everybody fucking dies and comes yeah, back a year, true. two, three, four years later. They're all dead Listen, and come back. I, who knows? You know, Kim Kardashian's on it now. So Yeah, what do you think about that? Well, I can not speak to that. <laughs> but, you know, the point is anything could happen. Is, wait, so you're right? not on the new season of American Horror Story? I'm not Horror on Story. 12, no. That's because they couldn't afford you because well, they're paying Kim Kardashian. <laughs> that's right. Why she needs another house? I think they all need another house. I, I have too property. many wrinkles. Do you, no. did you, I, I would look like a raisin next to her. Babe, I can did only you imagine. see? I saw this week. Kim Kardashian is now worth four billion dollars. Oh, that's a lie. She's How worth at least and you know, 10. And you know the she funny, doesn't want to pay the taxes on the other six. Naomi, you know the funniest <laughs> thing is, remember when we saw Kim Kardashian in the very first season of um, on Car Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Uh -huh. We were driving. We were in our G500. Yeah. On Wilshire, right in front of the, where the old e building used to yeah, be. Yeah. Kim Kardashian was dragging her suitcases from the employee parking across the street, right in front of our car, to the E building. Wow. Boy, have those beginning. days changed. Yeah, <laughs> but, you, but you know something? She, when you see her, she's the same from the day that I saw her then. Yeah. To what she, who well, she is. A little is more plastic today. surgery. Okay, I, <laughs> so are you. But the okay. fact that she's not above dragging right. a suitcase. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Well, like they, these I mean, girls, it has wheels on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, it's just like the it. fact that it was just so, it's interesting it was to see the weird evolution. Because the show had just yeah. started, and we yeah. saw her, and it was like, and then the show just exploded, it just and yeah. it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Celebrities, they drag suitcases <laughs> too. Do you drag your suitcase, Naomi? Again, it has She wheels. did. <laughs> so, yeah. She did for her one woman show that sold out across the fucking country yeah. that's going to be off Broadway now. Oh my God, I, I want to come see it in New York. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Is it going to go to New crazy. York too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Off Broadway. Amazing. That's How did you come crazy. up with the idea of American Horror Story? Well, I have two other solo shows before it. You did. And that's what I was doing those 22 years that I wasn't getting cast in Hollywood. Got I was it. casting myself. Okay. Uh, I have uh, the first one is called Girl in Argentine Landscape. Oh, now and we it's, know what that's it's about. It's my coming yes. of age story in Argentina. Yes. And right. then my second is sort of come of age. It's it's called Carnival Knowledge. Um, it's uh, it. it's um, it's sort of like Sex in the City, different 
Coe's crappier shoes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no Manalo's there. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the like, poor sex in the city. It's a, <laughs> exactly. It's a horror story, but it's the horror is promiscuous. Right. Uh, not to be confused with this new horror story, which is more of a hustler horror. Got it. Right? Yeah. But that, can, but that can take good, her toes like all that. the way behind her ear. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Horror cons. I see you all uh -huh. the time booking the time. these horror cons. What is that like? Because that's got to be like crazy. insane. All these tons, like so but many people go. But she's still loved. I mean, everywhere yeah. she goes, I think everybody just knows Naomi. Oh, I you know what I think is it's nice? Her. Because like even on your own one woman show, you came out, you talked to everybody, you took pictures with everybody. Like it's so nice. Oh, and I love those things. I mean, yeah. horror fans are the most... Die hard. Die hard, loyal, yeah. loving. Do you it's get so people funny. dressed up like you as Pepper? They'll be covered in blood. They're like Carrie, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. head to toe blood. Yeah. And yet, just hearts of gold. Yeah. Of course. You know. Of I course. always think it's cool every time I see that um, people like paint Pepper for you and I mm -hmm. see you post it on your Instagram and ta I think that's so. It's so nice. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. But I really think they should bring Pepper back. I, she was my favorite character. I well, have to say, she was one of my favorite characters. Let's call what's his name. Yeah, yeah Ryan. How's it with don't we have, with Ryan? Don't, don't we have him on top five dialing? <laughs> I I met Ryan. I talked to him on the phone when he was doing Glee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so many years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. The nicest guy. Yes. Very sweet. Yes. The Very nicest. Sweet. Yeah. Same. It would How be nice it if it him? were like all in Pepper's mind. <laughs> you know? Right. I mean. Yeah, Go like on dream. Dallas when what's his face Bobby woke up and was in the shower and he was dead and came back. I mean, to don't life. get me wrong. I want to come back in a bigger way. Yeah, yeah, of course. But even if they were to just end the season, you know, end the show, right. with like a blowout or of you know, pepper. kind of like a, yeah. in in her head, I don't know. Yeah. Do you think take American it. Horror Story is going to just continue going? I mean, let's face it. The horrors of the world, are, there's no end, right? Yeah. No so end. <laughs> technically, I think there is material to go forever and ever, unfortunately. Right. I do think 13 is a nice number. Yeah. And That's, we're coming up on it. So, right. I, you know, I I don't know. Well, what do the tea leaves say? Are I you going to read our coffee? Your cup. Your our, Armenian our, coffee I'm cup. Read your keep, our keep coffee. drinking. We're going to let you know, Ooh, definitely. Okay. Um, well, these days, everybody bitched so much. They're like, what? You got to be a fucking celebrity for Paul to read my coffee cup? Yes. They've been DMing for like the longest time since we started the podcast. He made me do yes. the coffee cup reading because I've been doing it for years, right? Yeah. And then everybody's been DMing like, oh, w like if you're not a celebrity, he doesn't read you. He only reads celebrities. Well, I'm glad I'm a celebrity. I know, I know right? right? <laughs> so now I'm, I opened it up to. You are more than everybody. a celebrity. You are a friend. Aww. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Um, continue your coffee drink though, because he's Thank gonna you. definitely yes. do it. We just saw her in that trailer for on, was it Netflix? It's Netflix, right? So I don't really know what you're. Obliter, obliter, obliterated, right? I think it's, you can't talk about it oh, she because she's on strike. But I can uh, nod. But you oh, can, yeah, nod. can nod. Obliterated is the name of the show. Mm -hmm. She's nodding. Um, can you say what you're doing in it? I mean, I'm an actress. Well, we know okay, this, we know that. So I'm. <laughs> She's in acting. It. It's coming out in November. Yeah. Oh my God, you're an actress? Wow. <laughs> Who knew? Well, I thought she was just another whore. We are actors now because we got booked in the show Emergence 2028. Oh, Oh, are we allowed to? Well, Wait, I don't, we're technically oh, uh, SAG eligible, not full SAG. So does that mean we could talk We did about strike, it? though. And we <laughs> good, good. I was going to say, we went out to I mean, you could talk about it, but then you'd kind of be a scab. So OK, I won't uh, talk about yeah. it. But I did it go. It stinks, doesn't it, though? I know. It's you weird. get so excited about something. I mean, like, I want to talk your ear off about I know. this show. But you have to come back and then talk about it. Well, then that's OK. And then we just have to do it again. We'll do it again. I love it. Yeah. Oh my God. So she can't talk about it, but we know it's coming out in November. Do we know if it's like the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth? What do you mean? The, the Oh, I think it's the out? seventh. It's the uh, seventh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the second. The second. It's coming out the second uh. of November. Eleventh. Oh, two. <laughs> one, one. Oh, fuck. How do you say it? Ten. 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 Nine. November 10. Wait. We don't no. know the month. What's the question? <laughs> when is the show coming out? Mm. The one that we don't know. It's coming out on the third. About. November 3rd. Three February. Zero. What the fuck is that? Thirty. 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 November thirtieth. No. Oh I'm my God! It's November thirtieth. What is okay. this? Uh, name that too. November thirtieth. No. What's that game? That's a different game. Are there Pictionary. sad Pictionary. rules Pictionary. against playing is it, a charade? Is, is it a movie? No, that's reality. Is I think it's it, okay. Uh, you know, how to, what is it? No, it's Tell November thirtieth, right? Yeah. A three and a zero. Okay. Jesus Christ. I heard I, a nod. What month is that? November. <laughs> Next month. Okay, it's on Netflix. It's called Obliterated. She's not promoting. I am because it's SAG. I'm SAG eligible. Snow White is promoting. Okay, great. 
Um, LGBTQ advocacy. I want to talk I about that. I was hoping that the strike is going to end before by, that. By the time we I and before so. this airs even, right? Exactly. Well, so. I don't know. We'll see. But we want to be respectful. So we'll we want to be, uh, yeah. we be so well, respectful. I want to you know, know what the tea leaves say about that. Coffee, because coffee, 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 coffee grinds. grinds. Don't worry, we're getting to that. Um, but seriously, we need that to end. And I think it will. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LGBTQ You know what? I, I want them to use me as an AI. I want to be all over their fucking plastered everywhere. No, yeah. They don't pay you when they use you as AI. Yeah. They don't pay me now. So <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, thank God for the 20 other jobs that listen, I've got going on. We need a union. I've got hustle. I'm not doing any of the Bethany Frankel stuff, but we do need a union for reality personalities mm. because we don't get residuals. Do we get residuals? I don't even get a paycheck from you. <laughs> All you do is whore me out. I'm a real whore. <laughs> and on that Swear note, let me remind. Yes, he is a whore. And I'm the pimp. Remind everybody that you can get your own virtual copy read at paulatu.com. And you can book Paul virtually, or you can come in person live, hang out with us, and do your copy read upstairs. I know. You'll actually come to the set of Undressed with Paul and Patrick, sit on the couches, and see the service right here. Same yes. Thing. And we're gonna read. He's gonna read your copy. Before that, we're gonna do a. We're gonna do runway rundown, right? We're doing runway rundown. Runway rundown. All right. So runway rundown is the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you know what I say about that? Mm. What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> like seriously, how did you? Did you not look in the mirror before you showed up? Oh. So because he's a fashion designer mm. extraordinaire, um, and the coffee cup reader now. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, we basically pull some different looks from different celebrities and okay. we're going to critique them and we're going to get your opinion on them too and you get to critique them too okay all right so the first one i have okay i don't know babe this is kim kardashian like i have never seen her in my life mm. this is her this is her this is when she tried to do the um the buzz look do you remember that no oh i have no idea what she's doing though it look doesn't at, look like her. So it looks like Pepper as an adult. I think wow. she's copying you, Naomi. I think yeah, she's right. Copying Pepper. Oh. So she put on this like um, costume. Is a, a well, Christmas. Yeah, I don't know what the hell the look is. The Santa Claus she's wearing a red. <sighs> what is that, Paul? You're a designer. Explain it to us. A huge oversized sweater with kind of a tiny little tutu. With a it white some, fur. Right but you know what, Naomi? I always love the way Kim Kardashian dresses, but I hate this look. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean. You shouldn't hate the look. I think she got. It's like, you know when couture is so over the top that it's ugly. No, I'll tell you what this is. When they pay you the amount of money they get <laughs> for her, you do. And, the, and they yeah. say, put this on. That's true. And she said. Gladly, and I'm gonna rock it. And she she looks shows, beautiful. She, shows, she does look beautiful, but I'm not a fan of the hair because, to me, when you look at it, and she's got her hair like totally shaved off. It's not the hair; it's but, the eyebrows. You don't like the eyebrows because she's. In, I no mean, doubt. she looks like real. Eyebrows. Yeah. You know, and I appreciate she's very that. Fit. She Absolutely. looks fit. It's a wig. Uh, of course, it's no. a wig. You don't think they were gonna shave all that? They weren't gonna shave great her locks head. off. Now that would cost you. But <laughs> but didn't they shave your head for Pepper? Yeah. They did. Yes. What was that extra? Was that extra? I mean, yeah, they paid. No, I saw them. when they, I saw when they on the YouTube where they shave your head, but I thought that was a wig, and then they shaved. They shaved a wig. So no. you really went. Fall. Same wig. Yeah, I think she Well, just fake it, like, until, like, the pro the transformation. No, for Asylum, they shaved everything but that little, you know. Right. Hair. Little, uh, the little, yeah. And then, and then for Freak Show, they shaved the whole thing. How was that? Like, were you, blo like, were you like, oh, my God, they're going to cut off all my hair and shave all my hair? Season two, it was like, you know, I was still trying to go about my life being like a normal yeah. person with a kind of bob haircut. So, yeah, I had a wig I would wear. I yeah. was a Spanish teacher at the time. So I would, you know, show up and <laughs> conjugate verbs in my bob. And then I'd Hilarious. take it off and be a, you know, pinhead. Right. Uh, it's not me. <laughs> Wigo. Oh my God, that is not how you say it. How do you Spanish. say it? Peluca. Oh, is that me, peluca nuevo? Nueva. Mi o bonito. Nueva. <laughs> We're so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> how long did it take for your hair to grow in? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I, I had a little, you know, what do you call it, pixie for the longest for, time. Yeah. It was really. It took COVID for it to really grow. To grow back. Just because yeah. I couldn't. Go Thank to the, God for COVID. Right. 
So, so there are benefits. Said no one ever. There, there are benefits. So you're not a fan of this look, Paul? I love Kim K. I do too. I, she I does hate the look. With grace, elegance, she portrays and exudes confidence, and that's what we love about Kim K. I like. I think if, if it's the same. Yeah. I think she looks gorgeous. Right. I need her undressed. She needs to take off that, that big, stupid. Yes. Right. Everything. I don't like that yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So the look is ugly, but yep. she. What's it's the other gorgeous. one? Good, bad, ugly. The good, good bad, the bad, the ugly, or what the fantastic. fuck were you wearing? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. What yeah. the? Yeah. Okay. I got one for you. Okay. Got another one. Mm. I don't know if you're gonna like this one. Show us. Okay, Naomi. We love you, adore you. I love the way you dress, but this is a what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> this is you, girl. <laughs> this is uh, five seasons put together. I think you're at the Pumpkin Patch or uh -oh. at a Paramount Plus event. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, they aren't all winners. Uh, Tell me your stylist did not do this. No one you. did that to me. I did that to myself. <laughs> Uh, I think you opened up the closet and you thought, I feel blue. And let me do it head to toe. Well, I'll tell you. That yes. was for the 1923, I think, that premiere. Oh, the know, premiere with um, show Harrison with Ford. Harrison and, Ford and yep. Helen Mirren. Yep. So, which was is set in a, 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 a period pasture. Right. So, so you're wearing getting, a sheep. I was wearing a sheep. <laughs> And, you know, and I want to say it's set in Montana with blue skies. So I was just really kind of going with the theme. You guys know something about that. Uh, can I yes. Can I say you're beautiful, though? Thanks. You look good. But but the outfit is uh, well, she's epic. Wearing... Lose fail. What was, the, <laughs> what was the sheep's name? Oh, I, I you know, I, I prefer not to know the names. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to wear them. <laughs> no, listen, Um, I want to say someone gave me that blue little smock yeah and yeah, it's a shirt it's an oversized I, it's, shirt it's an oversized shirt and i just it's still 19 can we say this is one of your worst looks can we all agree that this is one of your worst looks on the red you, carpet you know why because she's got a banging body yeah it's not she's doing anything not, for it she yeah. doesn't have cleavage she doesn't have legs she's covered everything up she's got the billowy sleeves and she's wearing a sheep unnamed sheep but you're even I, the it blue be better if the sheep had but, a name, a name. <laughs> but babe she's wearing blue tights and white shoes but the white <laughs> shoes have darth vader's on the back <laughs> and, like stop you know, stop I, don't go any further it is also like the photographer's angle like That's i true. did leave the house thinking i was cute i'm yes. not gonna lie yes yes I and not... and she has a gold bag <laughs> it's an epic fail naomi sorry okay. You know what? That was from a gifting suite. I remember. I think I got one too. No, <laughs> probably. She's carrying mints in there. Oh my god! What did you put in the bag? Do you even remember what you put in the bag? <laughs> we always need a, you know, lip condom, or <laughs> um, you know, a phone. Phone. Yeah. What are your What are your four? Oh, wait to another Gloria Hall. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! What are the four things you put in your purse that you walk out of the yeah. house and you have to put that in your you purse? you have to have credit card, phone, and uh, chapstick. Lip gloss. And yeah. then number five, condoms. Sure. <laughs> I mean, better say like, sorry. Wait, you're not single anymore. I mean, I I have a, a boyfriend. Tell what? us! She has a boyfriend? Wait, I oh my a, god. I haven't read her cup yet. Is so it, I you couldn't tell from the cup? Are you going to have to, are you going to, well, you'll do the cup after. Are you going to have to totally change your American horror story ending? Well, no, but I did have people asking questions. Okay. Because they were like, wait, 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 what, whatever happened to, you yeah. know. Yeah. And I said, oh, he, he's still around. And they're like, well, but you come off as very single. Yeah. And I say, yeah, because I am. Like, there's no ring. Like, right. at the end of the day, the story is an empowering story of uh, not necessarily a single woman, but but rather a woman. What am I trying to say? My the thesis is yeah better alone than poorly accompanied, right? Uh, like better alone. I love that than, poorly accompanied. Yeah, and so I was feeling poorly accompanied. Oh, <laughs> shut up! Just because I couldn't figure out how to turn on the fucking burner for the coffee. Well, I turned it on wrong. I turned the it the wrong way. The point is, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been poorly accompanied in my life. Yeah. And I would rather be alone. 
And in this particular case, yep. I'm better off with. Yeah. So I'm, how'd you I'm, meet the guy? Um, we've been friends for like 25 years. Wow. Like since I've been living in Los Angeles, I've known oh, him. Wow. But never just, romantically involved. No, um, no. No booty calls or hookups. No, no, no. Ch- I mean, he tried, but <laughs> I'm a lady. And he was married. He kept getting married to other oh, people. And now he's divorced. But now he's divorced twice. Thank God. Is he an actor? No. Oh, thank God. He's a producer. <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, much. my my husband's sleeping with his producer too. I mean, I don't know, not anymore. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. Okay, should we do another runway rundown? Let's yeah. Do our last look. Okay. Okay, our last look, and I love this lady, but I don't know. We're, we might have differing opinions on this outfit, Paul. Um, of course, she's well, from after America. You told, after you told our guest what you think about her outfit with the sheep. I think our guest agreed that that was an epic thing. It fail. wasn't a great look. Yeah. Right. Okay, I love Jessica Lange. I think she's always so classy. Mm-hmm. I hate this dress. This is what she wore to the Golden Globes. Mm. Um, I think the show was nominated, right? American Horse Story was nominated, and she went. Okay. Did it, you get to? The, you went to the Golden Globes. I've right? never. You know what? Globe. You haven't. No. Oh, it's off the rack, and it's not figure flattering. It doesn't fit her properly. Yeah, I agree. And she looks so good on TV. Yeah, I mean she's gorgeous. I yeah. don't like the color. I think she. It's a, it's hard to wear. She right? fired the stylist after this for sure. It's like it a, it's like, like a, a potato salad. You no, know, it looks like more of a costume than it does a gown. Well, you know, there's a huge difference. Oh, no, like yeah. of course. Sometimes there's not a ton of time. I mean, listen, you should make time before the Golden Globes, but right? you know, you run in and put this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've I've definitely been in situations where they're like, you know, I thought I was wearing something, and oh, but Lady Gaga's wearing that now, so you can't wear that. So, no, seriously. Really? And so, yeah. Okay, the, wait. What? What happened? Were you going to wear something? Lady Gaga, tell us. And they were like, sorry, uh, Gaga's wearing that now. For what? Uh, what event? Uh, I want to say it was the Emmy, uh, the Oscars. It was Oscars. Like, okay. Like, so I had to quick pivot and like find a new dress what? that day. <laughs> to quick oh, pivot. my God. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch probably turned down dress. like 10. Dresses to pick that one. Exactly. That's exactly she right. her closet. She really just needed to show it to her. It's not even like it was oh, hers. Oh, she had oh my God. And Lady Gaga, give Wait a minute. pepper a break. Do you, Naomi, have a picture of you in the dress? Uh, I, I probably. Okay, you have to send it to me. Okay. I wanted to see who wore it better. Yeah. No. Or Lady Gaga. We ever saw her in it. She oh, didn't even she fucking did. wear the dress. No, wear that's it. The thing. I think they just wanted to like have options for her oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> that's terrible we never get that shit yeah. nobody gives me any options they go no. here this is it no. i'm lucky if i even get something well y- why would you want anything other than that this is cute I know, right? so you like you know, okay. oh my god that that means you have serious power if you're lady gaga and you can tell someone else that they're not going to wear the dress because you're wearing it and then you don't even fucking wear the dress you know snow white's like that i bet i give her a choice and she always goes back to something that i'm like i was gonna wear that bow bitch (laughs) she has that and then she's like i'm just gonna sleep through the whole thing okay should we do a game yeah we're gonna do a game all right this so we always like to play a game with our with our guests. This game is called American Horror Story. Okay. W H O R E. And and you came up with that name because it's the show. Exactly. Which you can get your tickets at americanhorrorstory.com for a future uh, a show, right? Yeah. It's coming out. Yeah. Um so the game that we're doing is basically we're going to ask you give you two city names where if you get to pick one if you've had sex in either of those cities. And if you did, what was it like? Or if you haven't, would you have sex in which city and why? Okay. A little complicated, right? It's a right? very difficult thing. All right, Paul, you want to go first? Just you tell us pick. where you had sex, or if you didn't, where do you want to have sex? And you why? Have sex. Okay. okay, Paul, you Wait, pick one. Wait, is Naomi the one having sex, or is it Pepper? No, it's Naomi. Oh, Naomi, okay. I don't think Pepper has sex. Well, we were in the freak orgy. Oh, you that's in an orgy, too. Oh, my God. This has huh. done everything. That's Jesus true. Christ, I'm so behind the fucking guys. I'm just trying to be gay. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out what gay is. Heather was literally like playing patty cake with Evan Peters. Yes, she wasn't You know what? Oh. With his dick. You can say his dick. I, 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. So does that count as sex when you patty cake the? Wait, did you actually get to touch Evan no, Peters' no. dick? Oh. I mean, you know, they wear a merkin. <laughs> what? A merkin. A, merkin. <laughs> a fake what? dick. There's so much I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of a gay am I? I'm an embarrassment. Oh, what? Boy. What was it like working with Evan Peters? Oh, he's amazing. Like iconic, right? He's the Dahmer, I was like on the planet, blown away. Every time he wins a Golden Globe, yeah. I text him, and along with everyone else in his phone book, sure. I'm sure. And he texts me back, That's like nice. within the hour. That's it's like, nice. dude, you're doing way too. Like, how are you? How do you have time? I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. It's just really nice. What What did you think of him and Dahmer? Oh. He's fantastic. He was great, right? So he good. killed everybody. I don't like that. Well, that's a Dahmer did. I did not want to watch that show. Although, <laughs> AC, our friend, mm -hmm. she's amazing. She's coming on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. And she, I can't believe the performance that she delivered. Great. Right. Yeah. That yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was such a different aspect to, you know, that's what I'm saying. I yep. knew you as a friend. Yeah. I knew you before. I knew, I know her. Then when you see the performance, it's like my gowns. When they show up on the red carpet or they show up on the runways and everybody's like, oh my God, you outdid yourself. I'm like, that thing. Oh God, I just did it in my sleep. And then it's like you guys. And when you just show up and you do your performance, yeah. it's like you give it your all. And it's just, it's so beautiful to be able to get so drawn into it. I just get sucked into it so it's crazy yeah Naomi is there a project that Ryan Murphy did that you didn't have a role in not American Horror Story but another project that you're like oh, I, I should have been in that and which one and why listen I'm an actor so I can see myself in everything Every, yeah. yeah you know he's so creative right oh, so yeah. creative and now he's doing the new um oh my god they just said he was doing something new the another one of the murder Oh my God! Which one is it? I can't remember. Think well, of it. I I feel like I read about like American. Well, there's American Horror Story, American Crime Story, American Horror Stories. There's also like American Love Story, American Sports Story. Right, American, right. Like it's like all the stories. And if you're in the Ryan Murphy peripheral, does that mean you have like you could be called in for any of these? Sure. Can we take a picture and you text him right now and tell him <laughs> we're being the next one? <laughs> <gasps> okay, can we do the game? American yes. Horror Story. Go ahead, okay, Paul. Pick so, a city. There's two cities I'm going to name. Las Vegas or New York. Which one have you had sex in? And if you haven't, which one would you want to? She's probably had sex in both. I think I have. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, it's not like these are the most remote cities. Well, I'm not talking about a village. Well... <laughs> Jesus. Well, I mean, if you'd said like some small village in Uganda, I'd be like, I have not had sex there, but well, you would want to. Well, but Jesus. Oh, jeez. Um, I okay. Mean, how about I which is like, which is better sex? New York to Las Vegas, personally. The sex you or the city? Oh. <laughs> you prefer New York to Las Vegas? Hey, both. Okay. Both, both. Oh, okay. I got one. Okay. Well, she's gonna have a lot more in New I York know. when her show's in New York. I have a boyfriend in new york okay i uh i was stuck there for a hurricane yep and while everyone else you know new yorkers are like running around trying to find spam and yeah. you know whatever they're gonna need for the weekend i'm yep. just like i'm gonna need to take a lover sure so i did okay and yes, i had some excellent sex over the weekend oh my god hurricane. that sounds like my COVID story i, I love it for toilet paper you know what i went to go to the grocery store to shop for mm. oreo cookies there you go. Oh, chocolate geez. chip ice cream he did, did. He really I mean, did. I care. If we're gonna die, I wanna die happy. I've been, yeah. I've been, I've been starving myself you, with some Oreos and you've been ice cream. So hard on this body and exactly. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, Greenland or Iceland? I've never been to either. Okay. Uh, I I would say Iceland for sure. You would pick Iceland? Why? Because it's super hip right now oh, it's, yeah. it's the spot you know play a little bjork in the background oh look she's got it all figured out I find love. some i don't know some eskimo man eskimo hot icelandic guy yeah i wonder if icelandic men have big dicks or not oh my i feel God. like they might i feel like they might because they're kind of in between well, but it's so cold You're, whoa well maybe you have a it's big dick that's greenland shrinkage. though it's that's the weird thing i you'd think it'd be icy and right. cold it's colder and and yet it's green in Iceland. Uh oh, oh I've been either. We need to go to Iceland. I'm not going anywhere with you anymore. I don't oh, know geez. what you're talking. Okay, do your next one. Tokyo or Vietnam? Well, I do. I, Tokyo's on my list. I've never been to either. 
Oh, oh. Tokyo's so amazing. I need to go. I know I'd love it. Yeah, you would. I would love to go shopping with you. Yes. And both of you for that. Yes. And, um, and, and come back as one of those, what do they call it? Geisha girls. Oh, maybe. Geisha girls are literally like concubines. Right. Well, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Horror story. Horror story, but still. No, but like one of those, what do they call it? Harajuku. Girl? Harajuku girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, like Gwen Stefani, Harajuku. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's where it started. Yeah. It's it's like a whole trend. It's like a whole huge trend. Okay, I've the got shoes, one. The shoes, the tights. I mean, if we took if we took the the sheep off your sex your as a Harajuku girl. Sex. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh. I got one. Mm. Paris or Berlin. I mean, I want to go to this <laughs> uh, glory hole in Berlin. So Berlin, <laughs> hands down. Have you been to either? I've been to both. Okay. Um, she probably had sex in both and forgot. I don't think I've had, I don't think there was any consummation oh. um, in either, to my really? knowledge. We're going to no. have to go back. How do you go to Europe and not have sex? Mind. Well, you didn't say the entire continent of Europe. <laughs> you chose two cities. Okay, two cities. Um, I One of my dear friends had sex with Keanu Reeves. In Paris. Oh, so, how much? So, that? Tell us what I did mean, they say? Can you imagine? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I did can't they do even... anything backwards? <laughs> oh, right, like the Matrix. Like, whoa, was he wearing his? Um... Oh my God, yeah, that would be amazing. And nothing else, right? Oh, I could just imagine. He's hot. But so between sex with Keanu Reeves in Paris, yes, and sex at a glory hole, I choose Paris. Of course. But, but that's very specific. But yeah. Berlin is a pretty sexual. Oh, it's spot. amazing. She's got a whole list of things on her wall. <laughs> Swear to God. Babe, do your next one. Uh, well, this one's going to be easy because I okay. think. She probably had of, sex in both. Yes. The kind of the kind of beautiful <laughs> woman that you are and the corners that you hang out on. <laughs> uh, Beverly Hills or Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys are partial to Beverly Hills. <laughs> I know, yes. you know, we don't want to leave. Well, and you know, I'm West Hollywood, so yeah. I'm just right next door. Yep, you are. Um, but oh, you're asking if, which I've. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I've both. Both. Right. Which one was better? I mean, I'm. All of them. Uh, yeah. Everything in yeah. LA is you, just, just better and bigger yeah. and glossier. Yeah. It's amazing. I can't stop. <laughs> it's an addiction. Okay. LA is an addiction. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I've got one. Bali? Yeah. Right? Or Tahiti? Never been to either. Oh. But, yeah. you know, I'm a big yogi. Right. Yes. And yoga is very big in Bali. There's yeah. a whole community yes. there. So that's, again, on the list. When so I go to Tokyo. You can come to our house. Oh, really? Yes. A house in Bali? We haven't bought, bought it, but we're, I know We're it looking is. to buy a house in Bali. Yeah. It's at Kuta. Bali is water. one of the most sacredly beautiful cities put it on and the countries I've ever been in the world. You won't okay. be the same when you ever. come back. You know how you can take your toe and put it up on, on your ear? Yeah. Oh, my God. It'll be <laughs> it'll be so much more magical than they're doing it. Really? Oh, it's ridiculous. I can't wait. The yeah. spirituality about that entire island, it's so strong yep. and so prevalent that it just courses through your veins, and you it's insatiable. Yeah. You can't get enough. It's ridiculous. It's incredible. Oh, I can't wait. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're, we're Especially when you find to... love, go to Bali with oh, your yeah. man. He invited me, actually. To Bali? Yeah. So go! I, I booked a movie. Oh, yes. my, oh my God. God. Wait, when were you supposed there to go to Bali? Wait, when were you supposed to go? This was, it was before. It was like a year and a half ago. Okay, but you got to go with the new guy. Oh, the new guy. This is the new guy. Oh, the new guy. Yeah, oh, bring it back up. You gotta go. He's the old guy now. Okay. Well, like, who cares? But you guys aren't living together. No, no. Okay. No, the yeah, go. You gotta go to Bali. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. Okay. I mean, don't be like the other gold diggers and getting diamonds. Take it. Take go to Bali. No, I'm working for it. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, asking because yeah. I, I, I gotta love it. Shit. Well, after what 27 years of knowing this guy, you guys are finally together. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Sweet. Was he like blown away that you finally said yes after 27 fucking years? Yeah, no choice. I was. <laughs> I was. I had my leg up over my head. I was a. How's this drunk bad? at my own birthday? Um. The, 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 what am I supposed to say? He, he, he'll watch. So Great sex? Fantastic. No. no. Yes, of course. Okay, good. I so would... that's good. But do you feel like you found your person? 
Now listen. Okay. Do you, okay. Ever, know, okay. Do you okay. ever know you found your person? I fucking found I, my person. Excuse me. Bitch. You found your person because I'm perfect. But did I find my person? I think so, bitch. I don't think so. Naomi, what do you think? I don't. I don't know that we all have a person. Yeah, we don't. Really? Yeah. I have you for today. So you don't believe I think in marriage? We have. Oh, it's not that I don't believe in marriage. Yeah. I just think we have ourselves. Yes. At the end of the day. Yes. Ideally, we meet someone who is, uh, you Explore. know, uh, that compliments us. Yeah. Sure. But as far as like your better half, I don't have a better half. I know, but so I, you... I'm a complete. I am complete yes. as is, and yeah, but I he he's a nice addition. Addition. Oh, would you ever want to like get married or have kids? addition to him no i don't believe in kids really no no, no. i don't either why because it's just too much <laughs> <laughs> they pee and they poop and then they want yeah. you know to go to college and, and then they, and, and, they're so fucking expensive so much work i know they work yeah and they, then they tell you at the end fuck you just have math <laughs> You name it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see the point. Although Other I have than, to say your mom is amazing. Oh, yeah. Right? Your mom is amazing. Yeah. She's fun. Yeah. What? This is true. She's amazing. Yeah. Listen, I could see, if I could have a kid yeah. just to be my tech support. Yep. You know, because they are really good at that. Like, they're very, they're, they're very good with screens nowadays. Yes. I could use that. Okay. But I also found, like, Best Buy has, like, this program where you can just pay 100 bucks a year and, like, wow. come to your house and, and get do your that. Tech support. So I'm just, I'm opting for that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I drank the Best Buy Kool-Aid, and now yeah. I don't have to procreate. But at least you know, Much right? better this I mean, You know, so... Yeah. But it's but it's not about the children, and you're right. It's not about a relationship. You're right. It's not about being married. It's a piece of paper. You're right. It's yeah. not about a commitment or completing you. You're right. But I think if you find the right person that compliments you, mm -hmm. and the key word is compliments you, and you have something to share that you enjoy, and it's a safe space for you to be able to do so mm -hmm. without judgment, mm -hmm. without pretenses, we're not talking about this one. Oh judgy my God! Day. Judgy all day. Oh I my judgy it's all day. Funniest thing to go through life knowing that you've got that partner to share with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what? If it's good for you for today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, maybe twenty years, it doesn't have to be a forever thing, which takes away from you. So there is such a thing as people losing themselves in a relationship and doing things for other people and then being miserable and depressed and all of a sudden thinking, where was I in this picture? Yeah. How did I get lost in this mm -hmm. relationship? You should always, you should be whole yeah. before you find a partner because that's the best way you can compliment the other. Right, exactly. In other words, two dysfunctional people should not get together. This is over. Yeah, two dysfunctions do not make a function. <laughs> oh my God, you're going to do her copy read? I'm going to do your copy. You have read. never had your copy read by Paul yet. No. This is going to be amazing. Excited for you. So, Paul has now got Naomi's cup for our listeners that are not watching, but you can watch on YouTube. Uh, and he's going to read her copy grounds. And you drank from Patrick's side. He's hot. They I all do. That. He's hot. Thank you. I'll tell you, you're going on a trip to Bali. You're going on a trip. Maybe. And it's very soon. Uh -oh. This trip is going, it's surrounded with water. Ooh. I'm you, going to Spokane. Does that have water? I think it does. Where is I Spokane? think Spokane does, in the mountains. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's in Washington. Washington. Oh, I don't know, but there's water. Okay. You're going soon. Mm -hmm. You're going to have an amazing time. Ooh. It okay. seems to be one of those trips that you're going to be able to Center yourself and find yourself all over again in a different way. Okay, this is just for a Comic Con weekend, so I really don't. I think that's a lot for like. No, no, no. Horror Con and. Trust me. Oh. Trust me. Okay. Something's because, gonna happen because everything. I'm if it's that trip, you, maybe it's not that trip. But everything I'm telling you, there's something in it that's going to speak to you. Okay. It may not resonate at this present moment, mm -hmm. but when you go on this trip. This trip, whatever this trip is, you're going to be centered. There's going to be a moment that you reflect, and all of a sudden you're going to go, oh, I get it. Wow. Oh. Okay. You know, 
I feel good about something I either said, did, or I impacted. Okay, I can't it's, wait. It's amazing. But there's going to be water. I don't know what that body of water is. It may so not maybe, be it's not maybe it's not Spokane. When are you going to Spokane? That's in a, 10 days. Maybe maybe it's not Spokane. Maybe not. Maybe it's something that you don't know about. Yeah. Maybe you're going, you're going to Bali. I mean, Bali is surrounded by water. It's yeah. beautiful. Inside your house, everything looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. But there is something you want to change. There's one thing that you've been wanting to change or it's not even so much change as you're going to throw out and bring something new. You want to replace. Mm. So whatever this is, you've been looking at it. You've been staring at it. You kind of know it's there. You're like, mm, it would be perfect if I did this. And you haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. And it's coming because okay. it's going to happen. Someone's going to assist you in doing that. And if it's him, has he been to your place? Oh, yeah. It's probably coming from him because this is him, by the way. Oh, my God. He's in her cup? Yeah, okay. he's right there. I like and that. He's What's from, his name? Can you say his and name? And he went from he went from knowing you uh -huh. to inside your home. Oh, my home. God. <laughs> a part of you. But do you see that? Mm -hmm. And he's not a total stranger. I mean, I know you said that, mm -hmm. but even here... He's not a total stranger. Okay. This is somebody that you've known. And look at that little eye in the center. Okay. He's had an eye on you forever. That's true. Wow. Forever. You see that eye? Yeah. Forever. And I have to be honest. You've had your eye on him equally because it hasn't been a one-way street. It's always been you've had this connection, but I don't think you ever went that far like acted on it i mean i know you said he was married once twice maybe 20 times or whatever <laughs> but that's irrelevant because you really did enjoy him you liked him mm -hmm. you always imagined being with him mm -hmm. so it's 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 nothing foreign to you and it seems really effortless at this point yeah because it's like two people coming together but he's coming from the outside in and if he's suggesting has he suggested something that he wants to change no there's something that, or you've suggested to him that if I just move that over there, or if I just do this here, it's just going to make me happy and he's going to do it for you. It's coming. You'll, you'll text great. me like, you'll and be like, oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy. That's great. Anything that people will do for me that I don't have to pay do Best Buy to do, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm all for. <laughs> or have a kid to do. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you have your eye on him? Mm, kind of like know. in the back of your head maybe I mean, listen i remember when he was weeping uh when he f learned his most recent ex-wife is a lesbian and <laughs> was uh wanting a divorce right and and i i remember just saying like you know he he was saying he was crying saying you know she doesn't like it when i do this and that and you know xyz and and i was just like I love those things about you. Like, I would never change those things about you. Like, you yeah. just married the wrong person. Like, the person that you're with needs to love those things about you because that's who you are. Of course. Wow. There's the answer. But he seems like a very nice person. Oh, yeah. He seems like a really, really genuinely just a kind person. But your home is, like, just perfect. Like, everything's the way it's supposed to be. Like, there's no anything but there is that one thing and you're going to realize it you're okay. going to see it. there's one thing that you've been wanting to replace or change you haven't gotten around to it and you've just put it in the back burner thinking mm, it's fine but no it's not you've been wanting to change it and you will okay wow and you'll think of it you will. i know that you have family and love all around you so the bottom of the cup is generally a lot of people that you hang out with intimate moments that you share with a lot of your friends you're very connected it's all in the light everybody loves you like you're at a party every minute you're at an event every day there's people coming and going out of your life and it's just as if everybody has the the front door to your to your home like they're able to knock and go oh if you're home i'm i'm, I'm coming over for five minutes and you're available to mm -hmm. them so i know this about you already mm -hmm. But it shows it in the cup. It too. shows in the cup at the very bottom. That's this part right here. Very cool. Okay. Now, here's the one thing that you don't know. 
there is something coming your way in, in a form of a different kind of a message that you haven't gotten yet. And you thought that something like this probably not going to happen or an opportunity like this wasn't, you haven't put it out there. Or maybe when you did, it wasn't, it was a long shot or you're thinking to yourself, well, I'll just say it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? Is it really that big of a deal? Who cares? And if it doesn't happen, my life is complete. So I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. But there's someone skinny and lanky and tall that is going to be male. Okay. That's coming to you. Oh. That's going to be sharing news with you that you're going to go, oh, well, I am like I a that. mother? This is right. <laughs> and you don't know about was it? it? That, was it my hurricane boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, okay. It's something that, wow. no, this is about uh, outside your house. So it's um, uh -huh. like job work? opportunities, work, charity. Uh, friendships, maybe somebody from your past that's going to come back and give you news about something that you were like thinking about going, I knew this all along, but it was like impossible. Oh. Like it's going to be something that's totally out of your realm, your normal realm. And all of a sudden you're going to go, shit, I looked out the window and I was thinking that same exact, you know, thought in my head and now you're coming to me and telling me this wow it's something like that hmm. and it's going to be something that's really interesting that you're going to go you're going to sit back and go fuck <laughs> yeah i get it like it's going to resonate with you but it's going to provide you an opportunity hmm. it's going to create a pathway for you that you're going to then turn into something for yourself so that moment, that message is going to translate in a different capacity for you. It's different for them, but when they share it with you, it's going to translate differently in your life. That's amazing. But it's really nice. Wow. See? He's right there. Do you see that lanky tall person? Wow. Wow. I, I never understand this, but it always comes true. It's so crazy and okay. spot on every time. You are quite tall and lanky. He's going to give is he going to show up at my doorstep? Maybe. I don't know. You know him. I may be kicking my his ass out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need a place to live. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got this couch. <laughs> oh, thanks. I know he won't even fit on it. Nope. Okay, give me give me your thumb. Uh -huh. Last part. Now, no, well, you're gonna take the cup. Okay. You're gonna take your thumb. You're gonna poke it on the very bottom, twist and pull out, and then I'm gonna see what's there. Just like that. See? You're gonna get this. Look at that. Do you see that little message, the little bird? Oh, I do see the bird. Do you see the bird? Oh, yeah. my God. That's I was going to say, you saw an eye before, and I saw a boob. But I definitely <laughs> see a bird. Do you see? Yeah, I do. Yeah. With a little eye. And a little yes. Bee. It's very clearly a bird. And this is me the message. What does the bird mean? Oh, my God. D this message means this bird is like in a little nest, which means you're starting to create a different environment for yourself. You're starting to, um, it would be like nesting, like you're creating like this, um, a space that's a little different than you were used to before. You're, do you're not doing things different, but you're responding to things differently. Mm -hmm. You're taking care of something. You're bringing, you, your thought processes, uh, Oh, you know what? As an example, if uh, he's ordering food, he's like not just ordering sushi for himself. He's like, oh, you know what? I think he likes, um, I'm not sure, but you know what? I'll just get another tray for him. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Like your, your thought process in your environment is becoming a little more, not that you weren't nurturing before, not that you wouldn't ask no, but to get something, but it's slightly skewed and when you're getting something you're getting two if you're getting one you're gonna get you know what maybe i'll just get that for next week yeah. is that because of the boyfriend i think so yeah. i drank one of his beers last night and i've got to <laughs> replace it is that <laughs> see <laughs> maybe but your thought process is yeah. becoming a yeah. little bit different yeah yeah and that's what the bird is and you're enjoying it it's really weird because you're in the light you're having fun it's you're, it's it's not extra work. It's not extra effort. Mm -hmm. So right. it's effortless. 
but I think a different sense of you is being tapped into. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, that's why I feel that I in I'm single or have been up until now. Yeah, is that I. You know, I want someone who's super secure with himself and sure. and fine with me in the light. Yeah. And fine, you know, and, and wants that and supports that. Yep. And like, and isn't going to be jealous and isn't going to yeah. challenge that. Right. And um and this person is Because that. you are a strong woman. Yes. And. Yeah. If you I'm know, competing, like. It takes I somebody not. to be. The world is hard enough. In their own without skin. having to compete with yeah. my significant but other. It's, 100%. But it's not even a competition because you're being your authentic, true self. That's what I want. Except yeah. for your consideration has slightly changed where you're like, oh, well, that, you know what? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, I understand. It's a little bit like, and look. You're so happy. You've got this big smile. Look at that little bird. <laughs> Am I, I the this. bird? You're the bird. I love this. <laughs> You're the bird. Because this is your cup. It's your environment. It's you. Mm -hmm. And the way you're looking, look. Do you see where your eye is? As an example? Mm -hmm. You're looking exactly where I pointed that he was, where he was outside. Now he's in with the eye. You're looking exactly where uh -huh. I was. It's amazing. And <laughs> that's why I said, hold the cup however you're going to hold the cup. And then put your hand in twist. I did move it, if you'll notice. Oh, oh, just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. that's why it's random. Because uh -huh. it's just it's to supposed you. to translate however your intentions are. Mm -hmm. And that's where your brain is. That's where your head is. It's oh, my really God. really nice. This is so cool. I love it. Awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to meet him now. I, I know. Have... Well, before we go, let me just remind all of our listeners to rate, review, subscribe to Undressed on YouTube. Uh, we're on Apple and Spotify. Every episode's new episodes drop every Wednesday at midnight. They all know they've been doing it. Thank you, everybody. Yes, and you can listen to us uh, Fridays on the Jeff Lewis Live after show on Channel 789 XM. Sirius XM. Yep, and watch Gowning Out in Beverly Hills, uh, four seasons. And Naomi's on season one, so you can catch up with her. Naomi, tell our audience where we can find you, what you have coming up. Uh, I am at Naomi W. Grossman across all platforms. And, of course, you can check out AmericanHorrorStory.com uh, or my own website, of course, NaomiGrossman.net, uh, for more info on uh, upcoming shows. Great. And you can binge American Horror Story on Hulu, right? It's uh, on, yeah. They have the yeah. past episodes on Hulu. So, oh, my God, we love you, adore you. Thank you for coming. And on this note, you've just been undressed by Paul and Patrick. Ooh. How do you feel? Oh, naked. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. We love you, Naomi. Appreciate it. Thank Bye, you, bitches. Everybody. We'll see you next time on another great episode of Undressed. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, bitches. This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Bola 2, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Bola 2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola 2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.